Good afternoon to you. Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for the 24th of August, 2013. have a little bit of something of interest to talk about here. Invest Area 95L down in the Caribbean Sea, 30% chance of development over the next 48 hours and 30% over the next five days. That number kind of low for the five-day time period, considering what I'm about to show you, because it's probably going to stay over land, but if it can get over the water... The Bay of Campeche, this could develop, and the reason I say that, you can clearly see that there's rotation in here, right in there, starting to curl up and take on that cyclonic rotation as this disturbance, this tropical wave moves across the Yucatan Peninsula. The key to its future, can it get over the uh, warm waters of the Bay of Campeche right there, <clears throat> right there, just for a little while, even a day, a half a day, and it may be on its way to becoming a tropical depression it's interesting you say, well, it's over land. Uh, it's really not going to do much strengthening. Well, generally that's the case, but the atmosphere is trying to produce tropical cyclones now in this area. It's a lot more conducive than we have seen. And so a weak system, such as a tropical wave like this, has a certain potential that it can reach, even though it's over land. Whereas if you took a hurricane, uh, especially a well-developed hurricane, and ran it over this area, it would certainly start to weaken and go down to whatever that ceiling is, if you will. So it's not unusual to see systems try to develop even though they are over land, especially when you have flat terrain with a lot of moisture in the upper levels of the uh, Earth's crust as you do down there. I won't say the Earth's crust, that sounds a little bit too strong of a statement, but uh, you think about the, the terrain down in the Yucatan Peninsula, there's a lot of uh, surface water. That's a better way to put it. And so it's not rugged, you don't have mountains to speak of, and there is a lot of surface water, uh, so you don't have the complete negative effects of something moving over that area as you would if it were to be moving over Hispaniola or Cuba, where you have high mountains that can wring out that moisture. So we'll watch this closely. Uh, obviously, interest across the Yucatan here into Mexico and the southern Bay of Campeche over the next few days. This could be our next tropical cyclone in the Atlantic Basin. In the eastern Pacific, tropical storm Ivo, or Evo, I think it's Ivo, off the coast of the Baja Peninsula here, bringing pretty uh, nasty weather to the peninsula because of the large size of this system. We'll take a look at the satellite signature of uh, the system here, Ivo. Whoops, went to the east coast, sorry about that. How about East Pacific? Uh, here it is, pretty large system overall, so it is spreading some rather miserable conditions over the Baja Peninsula. Windy, rainy, rough surf, not a nice time to be out there. Uh, maybe some of this moisture can get pulled up into the southwest United States and bring some rainfall for those folks as long as it's not <clears throat> too much. Excuse me, still fighting that summertime cold, not completely gone yet. In the future, down the road, this is the Euro from last night's run, the ECMWF. The ECMWF has been leading the way at showing a favorable upward motion pulse coming across the Atlantic Basin over the next few weeks. And lo and behold, on last night's run at a week out, yes, that's a long time in the future, but when you see the Euro, which is a pretty conservative global computer model at predicting tropical cyclogenesis, fancy way of saying that it's showing the birth of tropical storms, when it starts showing that, you really have to take notice and here we are out at 168 hours, and lo and behold, it's got a, a system trying to develop that goes on off to the west-northwest here, uh, just northeast of the Lesser Antilles with time. What this shows me is that the long-talked-about change in the pattern from stable, dry, sinking air out in the deep tropics out here, yellow doesn't show up as well, all of this area that's been so negative is getting ready to change and we're seeing that with the deep convection and the tropical wave trying to develop already I'm going to just show you one more satellite shot here in the Western Caribbean I think this is evidence that we are starting to see a change things are closed out here starting to open over here and all of this will be migrating to the east with time and eventually there will be a big green light for the Atlantic Basin to take off and we'll probably have a very active September, uh, and we'll see what happens. At least this weekend, except for 
the Baja, where Ivo is bothering folks, and the monitoring of 95L along the Yucatan. Everything else is nice and quiet, obviously, and uh, should stay that way for about another week. But then, once we can knock on the door of September, I'm telling you, all of the evidence points towards a very active period coming up, and then we'll have to see if anything is going to impact land. If nothing impacts land, then we get off scot-free. I just don't. I just think the odds are against that happening, considering the pattern that we're in. But we'll talk about more of that subject when the time comes. Have a good rest of your Saturday. Again, I'm Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com. Always an honor to do these videos for you to watch on Hurricane Pro in HD. Have a good rest of your Saturday, as I mentioned, and I'll see you again tomorrow.